What is Paul Tuttle Jr. doing in 2024? Big motorcycles mean big fights. It's all on display on the hit reality TV series American Chopper, which follows Paul Tuttle Sr. as he, his team, and his sons, Michael and Paul Jr., build custom motorcycles at Orange County Choppers, which was once located in the southern portion of New York State. The show is known for giving people a look at how custom motorcycles are made, but it's the drama that has also captured the attention of many, with Paul Sr. and Paul Jr. getting into explosive fights. So, what happened to Paul Jr. on the show? And what is he doing after quitting it? If you want to know all about it, then stay with us until the end of the video, and let's get started. When American Chopper hit the screen in 2003, it wasn't just about motorcycles. It was also about the drama between the Tuttle family members, Paul Sr., Paul Jr., and Mikey. With over 200 episodes, the show showcased their custom-built bikes and their heated arguments, creating tons of memes and spin-offs over the years. Paul Tuttle Sr., a Vietnam War veteran, founded Orange County Choppers in 1999. His rocky relationship with his son Paul Jr. led to Paul Jr.'s departure from American Chopper and the creation of Sr. vs. Jr. in 2010. Although Paul Sr. returned to TV in 2013 with Orange County Choppers, it only aired eight episodes before being canceled. Despite this setback, Paul Sr. continued running the company until 2018 when he filed for bankruptcy and moved to Florida, taking Orange County Choppers with him. Ten years after the intense rivalry showcased in Senior vs. Junior, Paul Senior and his son Paul Jr. reunited for a special TV appearance. In 2020, Paul Jr. discovered that the original Orange County Choppers building was set to be demolished. He invited his father to join him for a final project in their old shop, which was documented in Season 12, Episode 9 of American Chopper, titled The Last Ride. So what did Paul Jr. do after leaving the show? Let's find out. Paul Tuttle Jr. didn't have an easy start in life. Before he became famous on American Chopper and worked at Orange County Choppers, he was just like any other worker at his father's company, Orange County Iron Works. Despite his father owning the business, Paul Jr. wasn't treated any differently. He had to learn the ropes from the ground up. Starting from the bottom, his first tasks involved cleaning the shop and running errands for others. But with dedication and his welding skills, he quickly moved up the ranks. Eventually, he was supervising at Orange County Iron Works. Paul Jr. is the oldest of four siblings in the Tuttle family. While he's the one who gained fame alongside his father, his brother Michael Tuttle also had a taste of the limelight on American Chopper. After leaving Orange County Iron Works, Paul Tuttle Sr. and his son decided to start their own business building custom motorcycles. This led to the creation of Orange County Choppers. Not long after, Pilgrim Films and Television approached them with the idea for a TV show called American Chopper. The pilot episode aired in March 2003, and the show went on to run for six seasons over seven years. American Chopper quickly gained popularity because of the incredible bikes crafted at Orange County Choppers. Some of the most memorable bikes featured on the show include the Black Widow, Comanche Bike, and the World of Warcraft Bike. Each of these bikes showcased the exceptional skills of Paul Tuttle Jr. and his talented team at the shop. Aside from the remarkable bikes, the show gained fame for the frequent clashes between Tuttle Jr. and Tuttle Sr. The father and son often disagreed on the original series, leading to heated arguments in nearly every episode. Eventually, tensions reached a breaking point in 2008, when Tuttle Sr. fired Tuttle Jr. after a major altercation. Their strained relationship escalated to the point where Tuttle Sr. sued his son for trying to reclaim his 20% ownership stake in Orange County Choppers. This legal battle dragged on for some time, with Tuttle Jr. ultimately having to sell his share of the business back to his father. So, what did Paul Tuttle Jr. do after leaving American Chopper? After parting ways with Orange County Choppers, Tuttle Jr. made attempts to mend his relationship with his father. During the one-year period while he was waiting for his non-compete clause to expire, he lent a hand to the OCC team in a few bike builds. However, by 2009, he decided to venture out on his own and launched his custom bike shop called Paul Jr. Designs. Meanwhile, the original series of American Chopper came to an end in 2010, marking the conclusion of an era for the show and the Tuttle family. Following his departure from his father's shop and exit from the show, Paul Tuttle Jr. shifted his focus entirely toward expanding his own business. This allowed him to channel his creativity without distraction of constant conflicts with his father. His business flourished, largely due to his remarkable custom-built motorcycles, which attracted attention and admiration. Tuttle Jr.'s growing reputation in the industry led to numerous collaborations with well-known brands. One of the most notable collaborations resulted in the creation of the PJD-E, a stylish retro-inspired electric bike with a design reminiscent of a classic chopper. This innovative project showcased Tuttle Jr.'s ability to blend traditional craftsmanship with modern technology. 
further solidifying his position as a prominent figure in the world of custom motorcycles. In addition to crafting impressive chompers, Paul Tuttle Jr.'s company also produced cool merchandise. Thanks to the enduring popularity of the iconic American Chopper show, Tuttle Jr. remains a well-remembered figure in the industry. Currently, he enjoys the fulfilling life, balancing time with family and friends while continuing to build exceptional custom choppers. However, his television career was far from over. In 2010, the show's producers returned with a spin-off titled American Chopper Sr. vs. Jr. This series showcased both Orange County Choppers and Paul Jr. design and aired until December 2012. Following that, several other spin-offs were produced, with the most recent one concluding in 2020. So, after leaving the show and dealing with their personal grudges, do Paul Tuttle Sr. and Jr. get along now? While Paul Tuttle Jr.'s television career may have taken a break for now, he appears to be thriving in his personal life. In an interview with People.com, he reflected on his decision not to work with his father again, stating, Working together was the downfall of a relationship, and I'm not willing to give that up again. Despite their past conflicts, Paul Jr. and his father have managed to reconcile and mend the relationship. They now maintain separate businesses, but occasionally collaborate for enjoyment. Besides his successful business, Paul Jr. has other reasons to be happy in life. Talking about his personal life, in 2010, Paul Tuttle Jr. tied the knot with Rachel Beister, and they welcomed their son, Hudson Stephen Tuttle, in 2015. Rachel, a model-slash-actress, crossed paths with Jr. when she appeared on an episode of American Chopper. While Paul Jr. focuses on designing and building motorcycles at his shop, Rachel manages a fashion, clothing, and accessories gift shop in the same area. Additionally, Paul Tuttle Jr. authored a book titled The Bill, Designing My Life of Choppers, Family, and Faith. In this memoir, he delves into his life's journey, his relationship with his father, his experiences at Orange County Choppers, and his spiritual journey. Expanding his professional horizons, Paul Jr. has ventured into various other businesses alongside PJD. He also hosted podcasts discussing important topics like preventing veteran suicides. According to Celebrity Net Worth, Paul Tuttle Jr. has amassed a net worth of $2 million, stemming from his time on the glamorous TV show and his current endeavors. So we can say, if Paul Tuttle Sr. was the lively personality of the American Chopper show, then Paul Tuttle Jr. was the mastermind behind the stunning creations. He served as the chief designer and fabricator at Orange County Choppers. Interestingly, in one of Tuttle Jr.'s Ask Me Anything sessions, he admitted to not considering himself naturally creative. It was only after delving into the world of motorcycle building that he refined his metalworking skills into an art form. While we got a glimpse of his artistic talent on American Chopper, the full extent of it is now on display through his own custom workshop, PJD. Take for instance, the Sturgis Buffalo Chip Chopper by PJD. It boasts hand-engraved spoke wheels, a nickel-plated frame, a hand-tooled leather seat, and numerous copper-plated elements. Even more impressive is PJD's latest creation for reliable scaffolding and shoring services. The Wild Chopper pushes the boundaries of creativity, resembling something straight out of a comic book like the Ghost Rider's Ride. That's all for today. If you're interested in more, have a look at this video. Thanks for watching, and make sure to subscribe.